look at this hammer on the bust of Trump. The, very seldom, like, that's the good thing about Rumble is that they leave the clickbait uh, title card up, the thumbnail. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. Look at this idiocy. Executive privilege under attack, and there's a giant hammer coming down on a Trump bust. And it's one of those, like, shitty ones you buy at a... I mean, I guess they had... Do you think they had a meeting about this? Seriously. Do you think they had a meeting like, we should we do a real picture of Trump? No, 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 no. That'll seem violent or so we'll get in trouble. Probably get it. And it, let's use a bust or whatever. Like a nice one? Now, nah, where's that shitty one I bought um, because Trump got mad at us if we didn't buy them at Mar-a-Lago? With those little... Yeah. No, not the... Yeah, the ones that were made out of clay and nobody bothered to fire them, but we all had to take them and they all... Yeah, you carried him home and they got all squishy. And the irony is it looked more like him the more it melted. Where's that? Use that one. Yeah, it's a chocolate-covered Cheeto. <laughs> so, <clears throat> executive privilege, ladies and gentlemen. It's the privilege of the executive. Membership has its privileges. Executive privilege. American Express. Men's room. Um, this... This particular thing, like, it's obvious to everybody who knows that the White House, the current administration, always has a say about what constitutes executive privilege. And they make decisions about what they're going to release based on their own concerns about what they've spoken about and what they believe other people have spoken about, about other topics, and whether future presidents will use a precedent based on what they released to release some of their shit, whether they're afraid of that or not. Because it can be completely open redacted for national security, of course, or it can be completely closed because that's a huge part of it, right? Um, and in the, um, you know, in the process <clears throat> of talking about this, I doubt Levin is going to mention that this is all Biden's decision. There's going to be... <laughs> Noisy nonsense of turning this thing. That's ridiculous. I just turned the sound off on this guy. This is what keeps Mark Levin's flow. The other day, a federal district judge. Hold on. The other day. The other day, a Mr. federal district. Mr. Mr. Producer? I'm about to lose my shit. Ooh, ooh. It's my shit. My shit. Judge appointed by Barack Obama. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hold on. What? Uh, Barack Hussein Obama. Ruled against President Trump's assertion. Um, well, well, I'll let him finish that. That executive privilege, at least to some extent, over certain materials follows a president out of office. Now, this particular judge, as you can imagine, is hardcore left. Yeah, of course, probably uh, his office must be in, what, North Vietnam right now? He just runs a satellite office for the CCP there? Or is he, is it Kim Jong-un? Did, did Obama appoint Kim Jong-un to be a judge? And unfortunately, Trump has, uh, has gotten a short straw here. So many of the judges in D.C. Look, there is no reason to bring up things that Stormy Daniels said about his penis. It's just not necessary, Mark. You can, you can deal with this without going there. Our hardcore left, and this is another one. And she basically said the existing president of the United States, the current president, Biden, uh -huh. He's in a position to determine whether the release of the information damages the executive branch or not. Not the former right. president. Right. Because he was voted in and the other guy was voted out. See, that, there, there, there's a certain level of, uh, of specificity in this one. If two guys, let's say whoever the last president was, had termed out entirely like Obama, 
and you had two people running equally and one of them I guess got in there and was a president and then they went oh shit it's been five weeks turns out the other one won and they get broomed out and then you find out that they tried to steal the election and were caught and all that and then this person would get to you know to be kind of back and forth legally whether it's possible or whatever um Trump was in there Biden was not. Biden was on the same footing as every other American. And America kicked this fucker out and put this guy in. Which is different than if you're both running equally as citizens. But I'm sure Mark will get to that. And that the former president really has no further ties to whether or not the information will damage the executive branch. Well, no, he'll never have another chance to damage the executive branch. He's not going to run in 2024. Uh, He'll be a floppy mess uh, within six months. Um, It's getting worse every day. You've started to notice it, Mark. You, Sean, Tucker, everyone's angry that somehow this dipshit, real estate, second generation rich kid somehow got someplace that you deserve, you, you should be, you know, you deserve to be in. And it's, it bugs you. Tell us the truth, Mark. Come on. Tell us the truth. It digs at you, doesn't it? You don't, you don't really think Trump is smarter than you, do you? Doesn't make you angry that that dipshit, he's not coming back. No. Not, won't happen. I mean, go for it. <laughs> Keep believing that. Don't stop believing. Keep throwing your money at him. Everybody who thinks Trump's coming back, please go right to Donald John Trump, or J. Trump, it's just J., uh, donaldjtrump.com immediately and start throwing money his way. Put your money where his ass is. Let me help out this Obama judge. First of all, the... Oh, okay, you're going to turn yourself in? Were you at the Willard? Whether an ex-president, uh, whether a executive privilege, at least to some extent, follows the ex-president has never been definitively uh, adjudicated by the United States Supreme Court. That's number one. Number- yeah, it's a, because it's based on policy. It's a policy, not a law. It's determinative by the executive branch. That's why it's executive privilege. If, the, if Congress was part and parcel to, to what constituted executive privilege, they would be involved in the process itself and it would no longer be executive privilege. You would already have a team of bipartisan senators or congresspeople that would review everything and talk with the president about whether or not it... What the fuck are you talking about? Two, but let's think about it. Yeah, let's. If in fact, to at least some extent, Executive privilege doesn't follow a president after he leaves the Oval Office. Uh Uh-huh. Then you are, in fact, going to damage the executive branch. Why? Why? Oh, because someone like Trump might get elected again, and then they'll just release a bunch of dirt that doesn't exist that their predecessors didn't say um, and in doing so would open the door for a widening of the executive privilege claim on their own internal co- oh right now you're starting to get I see because that means you can mm-hmm. attack an ex-president for the things that occurred while he was president uh, we can already do that you guys see my point? The no. point is, of course you're going to... No, no one sees your point. Weak in the executive branch. A president will know that once he or she leaves office, mm-hmm. that they're quote-unquote fair game. For... Yeah, so they might be more apt not to engage in Nixonian and Trump-like behavior. Oh yeah, we've got, we've got trolls in here. I mean, they, honest to God, I have a feeling like this is a vacation spot for trolls. Like they come here because our our chat is actually really nice. 
and uh, they can kind of take a break. They know there's no real pushback because we don't give a shit. So the trolls that gather here are like, oh, you know, I just need a breather, you know. Until my manager comes back from his break and I have to go back to a real chat room where people get upset. And then I, and then the screaming and the wailing and the screaming. Is by Congress, by a Congress of the opposite party that wants to look into the, the activities of that president while he was president. And that would only work if the current president agreed with them about said activities and it. And that would more than likely mean that the entire American public sided with that party over the other party as they were leaving office. And therefore, the, uh, the reason that former president might not want their executive privilege um, to be tested is because they're involved in criminal bullshit. And so, of course, that undermines executive privilege. Furthermore, you can't take the fact. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I mean, you have to you have to operate on the idea that whoever's going to get in there is going to want to commit crimes, is going to be to want to be involved in the in the subversion of the of the United States of America. Literally, this is about murder and treason. Not, uh, like even to the level of like insider trading, they wouldn't go after somebody like this. Of party politics out of such a ruling. The president today is Joe Biden. Joe Biden yes. will not Yes, he is. C sorry. Greg, do you mind getting a tattoo of that on your fucking giant forehead? Assert executive privilege over Donald Trump documents or documents created during the Trump administration. He's of the same party as the people who are running that committee. He's of the same party. It's weird. It's almost like the American people, in reaction to the last president, gave control of the entire government to that party. Now, why would they do that in one fell swoop? Why wouldn't there be a completely balanced exchange? By God, why wouldn't we have a president who's a Democrat and a vice president who's a Republican, where everybody kumbayas the shit out of everything? It, it's almost as if the last guy was so partisan and fucked up that the entire American public was like, goodbye. <laughs> Of the Speaker of the House, and theoretically, theor Why do we only get the snow, the snowflake trolls. Oh no, we get some other ones. Yeah, we get we get some other ones. I mean, they're all very delicate. You know, this is I think this is where trolls come looking for a soft landing. Really? Donald Trump could be his opponent again in three years. No, no, he's not going to be. Good luck, though. Please, please sell that idea. So, of course, he's not going to assert executive privilege. Also, also, if you disagree with me, you don't believe me that Trump's not going to run again and that he's just grifting the shit out of you. Stealing your money and pretending to run so he can pay all of his bills because the day he declares he can't take the super PAC money anymore. So he's just going to keep greasing you fuckers right up to the last second and then go, no, no, no. If you don't believe me, good. Please go to Donald J. Trump right now, dot com right now, and please get on a recurring donation scheme, high as you can possibly do it. Any raise you've gotten under the Biden economy is your, it's an anti-communism tax. You think we're going to become a socialist nation under Joe Biden, then fucking pony up, asshole. Put all your money where your mouth is. Get up, the, like, whatever you, extra money you make, commit to giving it to Donald Trump because you know, ultimately, that that money is just a way that we're going to become more like Venezuela. And you don't want to participate in that financially, right? You're an American. Listen to Lee Greenwood. Send him your money. Because Joe Biden doesn't have a principal bone in his body. Now, all that said, the Joe... By the way, this... The, just, just in case you forgot, that sentence came to you from Mark Levin. This ruling, to me at least, uh -huh. I don't care what other judge rules, is absurd. And so now you have open season on the former president and his administration and his staffers. 
the- which is uh, which is I mean very upsetting considering January sixth was open season on Congress and the Senate and the Vice President I suppose. You'll have to ask Pence what his uh, Secret Service code word was. It duck or rabbit? Because was it duck season or rabbit season? On the town, the Democrats in the House of Representatives. Yeah, now let's get this. There are dozens, scores of subpoenas against people who have no conceivable role in anything. Well, then what are they worried about? They come down and go, yeah, I really don't know. You're wasting your time. I know they want to waste their time. I, I know it's not like they have giant bills to pass or anything. I mean, a lot of them, sure, they... They'd love to talk to someone who worked in the administration who knows fuck all about anything, but, uh, they, they, you know, they, they, got, they have to. Because what are they going to do otherwise? Except go to parties celebrating the passage of the largest infrastructure bill in fucking 60 years. Let's hear what these three stooges have to say. Go. Late last night, pretty big news. Yeah, this is a big deal. A federal judge is rejecting former President Donald Trump's request to block the release of documents to the House Select Committee investigating. I, by the way, I trigger my own videos. I have a stream deck. It's this, It's like a little, there's, no, this one's a little closer. You can probably see it. It's like this kind of thing. And you. it's a smaller one. It runs into the computer that I run the clips off of. And then I just push a play pause button, whatever, myself. Mark. They'll hook you up. It's $140. Leave your fucking producer alone. Push your own goddamn button, you lazy bastard. There, You are alone in that stupid studio. Mr. Producer? Like, I swear to God, he's just... Maybe he already has the button, and he's yelling at no one just to make himself sound important. <laughs> but for fuck's sake, get... Do your own goddamn job. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. In denying. So stop. That's a mouthful, right? No. It's just news. It's literally just what happened. And yes, I do have better production value. Thank you, patrons. It's true. And I, like. Whatever this fucko is selling for ads on every on Fox and on Rumble and on wherever the fuck else his show is on. Where, what's the other place his his show is on? Blaze. This this shows his show's on Blaze. He gets paid to be on Blaze. The Capital Insurrection. Yeah, that's what it was, fucko. Now defend an attack on the Capitol that injured hundred and forty plus cops. And a woman was shot because she tried to crawl through a window with, after they'd busted through it into an area where there were unsecured uh, members of Congress. And a guard had to lay down fire on her to keep the rest of the crowd from coming through when she had a backpack on her back the day, the, the day of them finding two pipe bombs. Stop looking down at your hands, you chimp. So now that's what it is, even though it was. Yes, yes, that's what it is, fucko. That's what it was. That's what it wasn't. Listen to this dipshit. There was never an effort to take over the government. There was never an... Yes, there was. They were going to hang the vice president for not rejecting the duly certified electors from states and have them replaced with Trump loyalists so that they could vote against the will of their voters and put Trump back in office. That's exactly what that fucking is, dumb dumb. Insurrection. Insurrection, look it up, requires people to be armed to want to take over. Uh, no, it doesn't. Also, um, let's see. June 6th. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, fuck you. ...a building, a government, and so forth and so on. 
Capitol insurrection. I wonder if they're going to get to all the information where the president of the United States offered to send 10 to 20,000 National Guardsmen to protect that building. Yeah, yeah to, protect, to protect the building? Is that what he did? Hold on. Well, I'm sure he wants to testify about it. Why didn't he come down there? Trump wanted to send National Guard to Capitol. Did he now? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Not fucking quite, Mark. Just the absolute... Just... Is, is is this show called Mark Levin Shows His Ass? Is that what the whole thing is? And look how, by the way, for the record, look how muted and, you know, normally he's, you know, get it, get it, get it, you know what I mean? He's usually all wound up. That's it. When he's on Hannity, they call him on and they like, do, do a rail of Adderall. Don't bore us. Uh, Sean's got a, sh- uh, you know, you got to take a giant shit, so you just got to ramble for the whole segment. We'll put you on camera, and you go, and then you go, that's it, and you'll come back as soon as we cue you that Sean's done wiping. But this is different. I'm going to I'm gonna go, Mark, I'm going to go with the fact that, that my opinion, that uh, that you, A, don't know what the fuck you're talking about, B, know that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and are are pulling a Greg Kelly looking down at your hands and doing this business here because you feel caught by your own goddamn camera. Pelosi said no. That's always left out of these little so-called... Because it's not true. News snippets. Go ahead. Preliminary injunction. The judge said, quote, the public interest lies in permitting, not in joining the combined will of the legislative and executive branches to study the events that led to and occurred on January 6th. The judge noted President Biden already had waived executive privilege, adding, quote, the plaintiff does not acknowledge the different deference owed to the incumbent president's judgment. Went on, presidents are not kings and plaintiff is not president. Select Committee Chair Benny Thompson issued his own. I, by the way, I love that quote. I think a lot of us enjoyed it when we first heard it. I'm stunned that Mark Levin didn't stop it there. Look at that. Over a thousand people in the chat again. Welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Join, like, share the show. There's other clips of the show. If you see, you know, a segment on the show, more than likely we'll chop it up into a one, one slightly more edible chunk over the next, you know, 48 hours or so, pass stuff around. There's a lot of, uh, you know, you could, it, there's a lot of great work. Just saying, like, you could spread that around. It'll draw attention. Thank you. Welcome. All right, here we go. I'm shocked he didn't, after the, excuse me, Mr. Producer, stop right there. Stop. Right there, these are, it's clear that Biden's acting like a monarch butterfly. All right. That reads this way, quote, this decision affirms the importance of the select committee's work. <laughs> they put Mark back on camera when it comes up. Uh-oh, black guy. We, our viewers, this is the blaze. Can't have a black guy on, on without balancing it out. That It shocks the audience. They'll think something happened to Mark. He's bald, too. It'll throw everybody off. It answers for the American people. Recommend changes to the law to strengthen our democracy and help ensure nothing like the attack of January 6th ever happens again. Wait, wait, was that Mika going? Or was that Mark Levin? Hold on one second. This way, quote, this decision affirms the importance of the select committee's work to get answers for the American people. Recommend changes to the law to strengthen our democracy and help ensure nothing like the attack of January 6th ever I, I don't know. It sounded like Mika saying, mm-hmm, but Mark's ears moved at that moment. So we're, it's, a, it's a wash. Happens again. Trump's attorneys immediately filed a notice to appeal. The National Archives plans to turn the documents over. The judge found that uh, having spoken to them, uh, they don't appeal to anyone um, uh, on, on any scale, socially, morally, 
uh, fashion wise, um, they'd be better off sending Steve Bannon so he could just report everybody straight to jail. To the committee by Friday, barring an order from the appellate court. There so you go. We want to get to the bottom of January 6th. Oh, okay. The Attorney General testified the other week that this is the biggest investigation the Department of Justice has ever, ever undertaken. With more re Well, that's because of the volume of shit on social media. It's not the depth of the conspiracy, even. It's pretty shallow, actually. It's like, have, you think there's ever been a that many people attack the Capitol on one day? Like, I'm just saying, during the Civil War and in 1812, there wasn't a lot of stuff in the cloud to sift through. Since then, have ever been applied to any other investigation? I guess that includes 9-11. Wow. Well, that's because smartphones came along after, largely, drones, the ability to... You do... You do know what year it is, right? It's not the job of Congress to conduct criminal investigations or even civil. No, it isn't. But they can do national security investigations, fucko. Investigations. The job. Yeah. So, so you were against the 9-11 hearings then. So, uh, yeah. The Warren Commission, you were, you're still, still got your ass in a twist about that. Congress is to have oversight and make determinations about legislation. They've gone far afield from that, ladies and gentlemen, with the help of this activist Obama judge. For more, sign this activist Obama judge who begrudgingly followed the letter of the law in a pretty perfunctory sense and stiff armed Trump's bullshit about being special somehow. Good fucking God.